Okay, so what is more fun than going camping with your dog? Um, as a dog owner, it's a really appealing idea to me, and I know it is to so many of your campers. And part of that uh, is having a dog park at your camp. Uh, I think it's a great idea because, you know, we want you to have the six-foot leash, non-retractable, people walking around, etc. But we know that dogs need to get their yayas out. They want to play, they want to have fun, they want to have those goofy dog smiles on the dog's face. Happy dog, happy owner. Um, so you're going to put in a dog park. What should you do? First of all, you want to make sure that you have like a chain link fence that goes all the way around, four to six foot tall, and you want it to be double so that there's a spot where you walk in and then you can lock the door and then uh, unleash the dog and then open the door, the inner door, so they go into the main area. Um, and you know, that's something you're going to have to think about too is are we going to have leash dogs or unleashed dogs in the dog park? I got to tell you, most of the parks I see which are growing in popularity, it's all unleashed. It's all about having an unleashed space. But it is something that you want to establish. Um, and you want to think about uh, the location for your park too. Uh, should generally be away from your main camping area so that you know, it doesn't intrude on your ability to have peace and quiet at other sites. Um, if, if you can, you want to have some shade for the dogs. Um, think about the ground cover. Typically it's going to be grass, but you know, you, you're going to have waste over time in that area. So dog waste, so how that is cleaned up, how that affects the ground. Um, you don't want to use harsh chemicals on the grass in there. Um, you also want to set up your station so that you have uh, pooper scooper type of, of uh, cleanup uh, um, tools available to everybody so that everybody is taking care of, of their dogs. Now the other thing to keep in mind, and I know that we hate to have a million signs um, up because you don't want it to look like a laundromat, you know, the typical laundromat, all these different signs, but having the dog rules posted outside a park I think is really key. And one of the things that you want to make sure that you post in there that should be obvious, but that dogs need to be under adult supervision. Um, you're going to have to, you know, this is not a place where you can drop off your dog. Um, and I know as park owners, you see everything, but it's something to keep in mind. And then you also want to think about the age of the uh, campers who are allowed to come down to the park with their dog. Uh, you know, are you going to have it be 16 years and above? Um, if you get into younger children, then you have the issue of can they control the dog or not mentally? Can they control the dog or not physically? So that's something that you want to establish and then reinforce. Okay. And, and you know, one of the things that you want to consider too is um, the age of the dogs that's allowed in the park. You don't want to have a puppy in there. So what we're recommending is, you know, they have to be at least four months old. Um, the hours that the park is open, um, you know, typically dawn until dusk is what we're typically seeing, but, you know, be clear, you know, post your rules, we want, we want that unilateral notice up there so that you can reinforce it. And it's also a really good idea to post the contact information uh, for emergencies uh, for the RV park so that it goes to a manager or the person in charge in case something does happen. Um, some other things to consider is uh, having water available for the dogs. I think that's a really good idea, if at all possible, having uh, just a hose that people can fill up little water bottles or bowls for the dogs. Um, adequate lighting, if you're going to go um, beyond daylight hours, that there's adequate lighting so that we don't get into a trip and fall type of, of situation. I mean, these dog parks are, are growing to the point where they're almost um, you know, a majority of parks and, and people are really seeking them out and I think it's a great thing to do. Um, we have sample rules and, and, and uh, all sorts of dog information for hosting dogs at your park, not just building a, a dog park itself. So uh, contact Marshall and Sterling. We're here to help you make your campground the way you want it to be, a fun place to camp and a fun place to camp with your dog.